my take on the average Alice um, gray water tank. This is a two-part system. One is the uh, six-gallon gray water tank, uh, clear, so you can see how much is in it. And the other part is the hose connections. And that's it. What I'm going to do is when I'm all done with this and I've got a moment, I'll sit at the kitchen table and give you a rundown on price. But man, it works like a charm. I mean, even when I just spend the night in, um, in a rest area, I use it. it takes that, that's how short it takes to hook it up. Let's go outside and play. Okay, this here is the, um, the connection, okay? To the trailer and then this goes to the tank itself um, basically uh, let's turn this a little bit I was hoping not to have to video edit this this um, this is pretty much to, I, this was a longer hose that I actually had to cut down um, it's got to be relatively short Otherwise, there's not enough pressure because it's just drain water. So there's not enough pressure to put, get it into the tank. Where like this, you'll see it fits very nice. And there's a little gasket here. Um, I'll go over all the parts at the end in the course. Okay, let's go outside and do this. I meant to do this at the trailer park, but it just never happened. So we're doing it in here in the road, which my house is like doing it on a major highway. They come through here like it isn't even a... So first you take the cap off. I think there's a little bit of water in here because I've already antifreeze the trailer. Then you take your little gasket, put it in there. There it is. Okay. <laughs> and I got a little cap here. Air vent. Take out the air vent. These all go back in the box until I'm ready. And you just take your little hose here. You don't want to bend it. It's a little brittle because it's cold. That's what's happening. And you hook up your hose. And it works like a charm. And when it's full, you just disconnect it here. You don't even have to put the caps on to carry it and dump it. Um, if you're on the road, you can take it in any bathroom. And uh, that's what it looks like. And it works like a charm. I slide it under the trailer, but the hose is a little, a little cold. So that's what it's, um, that's the average. Okay. As I said at the end of this thing, I'd um, I'd sit at the kitchen table and kind of give you a rundown on the gray water tank. Um, the cost, total cost was 58 bucks. But um, after reviewing our Average Alice's uh, um, video, I determined that um, I had, if you remember on the, the hose, I had that big plastic conglomeration uh, where it connects to the trailer, okay, to the trailer. That's the only way I could find to do it. With looking around, I found for fifteen thirty-two at PlumbingSupply.com, uh, fifteen dollars and thirty-two shipped is a plastic straight drain connector. which will um, connect right from the nut to the hose to the tank. And all that big plastic part that you see in the video will be gone. So um, I put it all together in kind of a rush um, when I realized the problem with the gray water and I was just dropping it into a bucket and the bucket attract bugs and stuff. So. Um, over the summer, I put this thing together pretty quick, and um, that's how I ended up like I did. But my total cost was um, $58, 
and now I've added 15 something to that. Um, I don't think you can go buy a gray water tank for that price. The things that I used was um, uh, that were good was the bulkhead union. That was 1376. It's called a bulkhead union. Um, a couple of adapters and the brass caps. I'd buy them again. Um, this is that sink fitting. I wouldn't do that again. And the hose I bought. Um, I would just buy a little chunk of hose and put hose adapters on it. Where I bought a hose that already had two female hose adapters on them. And it was... Um, $7.97, way too expensive for what I did. So you could trim, if you trimmed off, if you actually bought the right adapter right the first time, and the bulkhead adapter, let's try to do this real quick, only in order to stay within my limits here. Um, so if you, if you, the bulkhead adapter, $13.76, whoops, clear. 13. Uh, the brass adapter for, that's to get to the hose to connect to the bulk adapter. Okay, so now with the hose, then you got, um, you'd be buying two hose connections and a piece of hose and this 1530 32 adapter that I found that finally found it uh, at the plumbing supply. Um, all this tailpiece you wouldn't need. Uh, you'd have it all. So what am I missing? Oh, the bucket itself. The uh, five gallon bucket is 18. It's $51.99 is about what it should have cost. Uh, right now I'm up in the 60 bucks because I did everything half-assed. But you get the general idea. You've seen it. It should cost you somewhere around $51.99 to put it together. You need a um, little piece of hose, two hose connectors. You need this uh, plastic straight drain connector from the, the plumbingsupply.com. Uh, it's an inch and a half by hose connection all in one little piece. Uh, you need the bucket, the five gallon head pack carboy bucket, um, and the bulkhead connector. So with the, the little brass hose connector that goes into that, and you've got it all, and it works like a charm. Or you can do it as average Alice. I'm going to put, because um, her, her thing is very good. So I'm going to put her uh, a link to her video at the in the description of this video. So anyway, that's it guys. It should cost you around $51.99. Don't think you can buy even a bucket um, for $51.99. And this includes the connections to your um, do your thing. Amazon also sells the connection but it's a 90 degree, and um, I don't. Wa I didn't want a 90 degree one. I wanted something that comes straight out because it gives me more height to my container. Um, if you come out on a 90, you're headed straight down, and you know at some campgrounds that might not work out without digging a hole, you know, to get your bucket in. So that's the deal with it. Um, and that's my video. So you have a good night. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I answer um, everything in the uh, comments. I'll um, answer as long as it's polite. And uh, that's the end. Thank you for watching. That's the finished product. The trail is all winterized. And